It's hard to believe that some students are still in school. Boy, this late in June, kids in Andover don't finish up the school year until tomorrow. As WBZ's David Robichaux shows us, each and every one is ready to get the summer started. There's no AC in this Andover classroom. Drop everything and read. These sweaty students never expected to still be hitting the books when July is almost here. Not fun to have to wake up early still when all of my friends from other towns are out of school having fun. Andover is one of the few school systems in the state that's not out for summer recess yet. We have uh, 10, we've had 10 weather days this year and it's been, uh, it, it has been tough. It's a long, long year. Five of those days they had no electricity after the October storms brought trees down on power lines and blocked roads all over town. That has meant 10 extra days in class when they could be at the beach, but it hasn't been all work. This week we went to Canopy Lake for a field trip and uh, we had a math final. That was about it. Did you have to write a paper about Canopy Lake? No. <laughs> They're dancing in the cafeteria. <laughs> They're even boogieing in social studies. A lot of dancing going on. Yes, just dance. We talk. There's so much anxiety in the world right now, so we talk about the movement and dancing and laughing. But it's still school. So what's the worst part? Probably the heat in school and waking up early. It's pretty hot in here. It's been a real test of endurance for all involved, but they're going to have to gut it out for one more day. Actually, a half day. Tomorrow, after 10.50 a.m., their summer will finally begin. In Andover, I'm David Robichaux, WBZ News.